The web is a major part of most people's lives in the world today. Between 45 and 50 billion web pages have been indexed by Google. Today we are going to talk about the history of the web browser. So let's start with the first ever web browser created by Tim Berners-Lee, founder of the World Wide Web in 1990. The browser, of the same name, was very basic and would not display images. They would have to be downloaded and then opened separately in an image viewer. The first browser to display images in line with the text wouldn't come till 1993. The National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois, commonly called NCSA, developed the Mosaic browser. This helped bring multimedia content over the web to non-technical users and became the foundation for many new web browsers to come. Mark Andresen, the lead developer for Mosaic, left NCSA in 1994 and founded a new company, Netscape Communications which created the popular Netscape Navigator browser based on Mosaic that claimed 86% market share in 1996. Mosaic licensed their source code to Spyglass Inc, who developed the Spyglass Enhanced Mosaic, an improved version of Mosaic that was sold to companies to be white-labeled. One of these companies was Microsoft. Microsoft licensed Spyglass Enhanced Mosaic from Spyglass in 1995 for $8 million to create Internet Explorer, a new web browser to be included with Microsoft Windows 95 Plus. This was later included in all versions of Windows and Macintosh through a deal with Apple. This created what was dubbed the Browser Wars between Netscape and Microsoft. Netscape Navigator lost its market share rapidly going from 86% in 1996 to Microsoft having 99% market share in 1999 due to its free and included nature. In 1998, Netscape was low on funds and could not afford the continued development of Navigator. So they open sourced their software and created the Mozilla project. In 2004, five years after the acquisition of Netscape by AOL, the now separate Mozilla releases their new browser, Firefox. Firefox brought many new features to web browsers, including tabbed browsing, custom extensions, and a download manager, among others. Apple released the Safari browser in 2003, replacing Internet Explorer for Mac. Safari used Apple's new WebKit engine, which was based on the KHTML engine developed by KDE. Another browser named Opera, which was released in 1996, became freeware in 2005. These browsers shaped the early 2000s. Google released the Chrome browser in 2008 based on the WebKit engine. Chrome improved on the browser by making it multi-threaded, meaning the browser was much more efficient and crashed less. Google also developed the V8 JavaScript engine for Chrome, which massively improved JavaScript speed. This was done as websites were becoming more interactive and adding features which made them more like apps, which older browsers had trouble handling. The Chrome browser was so successful that browsers such as Opera switched to its source code. Finally, the most recent popular browser is Microsoft Edge. Released with Windows 10, Edge replaced Internet Explorer to create a more modern browser experience, in line with browsers such as Google Chrome. This video was sponsored by Bluehost. Use Bluehost's easy-to-use WordPress hosting starting at just $3.95 per month to create a professional website with 24-7 customer support. Head to bluehost.com slash track slash Medica to sign up.